our generation won't believe us to join them to celebrate nudity, immorality, and worldliness. But that is not possible. If Super was in this generation, they would have trolled him online and claimed he is judging. No way we will preach Jesus and claim we have the Spirit of God in our lives, yet we act in a manner that is anti-scriptural. If God's word stated anything in any way, it is what it says it is. No level of modernization can change it. Righteousness is righteousness because the word of God declares it so. Not pretending to be righteous. But can we go back to the time when sin is embarrassing and disgusting? When believers strive for holiness and uprightness, not as it is now. People suddenly have the nerve to come public, do things that are not Christ-like, and expect other believers to celebrate it. And if you dare say they are wrong, they lash you. They say you are judging. And they expect you to keep quiet and hold your opinion to yourself. Our voice cannot be silenced. When we can't differentiate what is sin and what is not, how are people supposed to know what sin is and what righteousness is if we decide to keep quiet? Are we expected to fold our arms and watch what is really happening? We used to hear stories of how ministers will fall and they break down in repentance. But now, they come online unashamed, without brokenness, without remorse, without repentance. This is the generation that seek the face of the Lord and we shall see him. They will fornicate and bring it to the public. Baby mamas, they have children without getting married. How did we even get here? Accept the Lord, help us. Accept the Lord, break us. Accept the Lord, build us. Accept the Lord. May our love for God be genuine and through. May we go back to the place of passion, prayer, and seeking the face of God. Account for Christians who observe sexual purity. May we have people who truly, truly love the Lord. All of us, that we may present every man perfect.